A lot to get to, um, but first I do want to start with real estate and just take your pulse in terms of what you're seeing, given the fact that Crescent operates in a number of major markets. Um, and you have exposure both in terms of residential real estate, but also mixed use. Um, certainly we've seen some green shoots in terms of recovery in housing, especially single family housing. But overall, uh, whether it's from the multifamily side of things or whether it's from the commercial side of things, um, what are you seeing in your business, uh, especially in places like Florida, where we are seeing some scaling back in terms of reopening efforts? Uh that's correct. South Florida has experienced a resurgence of the uh, resurgence of the virus, and thus uh, uh, we've, some of the plans that we had made uh, we had to change. So hotels, for example, in Dade County, uh, basically um, instead of opening July first, will be opening sometime after that, whether it be August first or what have you. Uh, part of it has been a little inconsistent in the sense that uh, uh, there's been flip flops in the sense that uh, beaches and uh, bars may have been closed earlier on, and then pools to hotels have been closed. So um, I think that we all have to do what is in the best interest of everybody and uh, and do it in accordance with a plan. Yeah, we had a, a Dallas entrepreneur uh, on somebody who's involved in real estate and restaurants on, on the show yesterday. And one of the things that he said that he saw was the potential for a looming disaster for a number of different reasons, as some of these states like Texas, like Florida, have, have scaled back on restaurant and bar openings, hotel openings, et cetera. Um, that there could be another shoe to drop in terms of real estate if we see these reopening efforts, um, I guess, curtailed or slowed and extended longer than anticipated. Is that something that's concerning you right now? Well, I, I think it should concern everybody, but we are a, a very resilient group of people and uh, with proper leadership and proper planning. It doesn't really matter if we, if we reopen fully two months later or three months later. What really matters is that we open in the right way. And we do that together with government and uh, in the right precise way so that it's safe and, uh, and correct. But are people paying their bills or people paying their rents right now at your properties? Uh, for, for in general, yes, they are paying and, uh, and we are working okay. with some tenants. Uh, and, you know, this is a time where we together uh, have to pull together and cooperate. And obviously we have great tenants and uh, those that uh, are encouraged to, to reopen and to focus on business, we have to help them. And, um, and we are doing so. Um, Mr. Galbert, Norwegian Cruise, of which you're chairman, um, we all know the challenges facing that industry right now. Uh, has the company raised enough capital? Does it have enough liquidity to get it past whatever date it's going to be where it can really fully resume operations? Yes, we believe so. Uh, as it relates to real estate, obviously um, Miami is the uh, is the international capital of the cruise industry. I mean, the, the, it's it's the number one location. So uh, it generates a great many room nights for the community, and uh, we need the cruise line industry to come back in total uh, to help in uh, in our community of Dade of Miami Dade. And is there a point? Is there a date at which, if in fact things continue to worsen? Uh, that you won't feel as confident in terms of the liquidity position of Norwegian? I think we're in a good position today, and, um, and I'm really uh, not worried about that. Um, I am uh, more concerned about incentive programs and plans for real estate throughout America, uh, working together with government to create those type of incentive programs and create jobs. I think uh, now is a time for, for the industry, the real estate industry, and the professionals, and the uh, planning departments of the municipalities throughout the United States to figure out how we can get industry back to work um, and create jobs for everyone. So what, what are you talking about specifically there? The, the fact that a lot of what, restaurateurs are not going to be in a position to pay rent. How do you get them up and running or small businesses? There, Give me some specifics here when you say that, because so, I know you, you, most of your units are residential, but you seem to be talking more about commercial. We, we have commercial and residential. Obviously, our residential uh, we're at a 98% plus pay rate, and uh, it seems to, and it appears to be a fine. Uh, as it relates to commercial, uh, obviously that's been more hit, and retail has been more hit. So what we what we think has to happen here is that uh, the PPP plan, we need to have another because uh, there is a resurgence of this virus, and we need to keep our small businesses alive in America because this economy will come back. They're the number one creator of jobs. And uh, we need them to do well. 
So in order to do well, they have to survive uh, this open and shut uh, phase where we've had this resurgence uh, of this uh, terrible virus.